We've been talking about how we bailed out banks and financial institutions. We also helped the automakers. How about you small business owners? Do you need a bailout? You're the backbone of the American workforce. In fact, small businesses employ at least half of all private sector employees. So should some of the $700 billion plus that were allocated to bank bailout funds go to help struggling small businesses? Those on Main Street. The White House already made an exception to bail out the automakers. How about you guys? Lloyd Chapman is president of the American Small Business League. He's looking out for you. So how badly, first of all, do small business owners need assistance? They need it really bad. Um, so far, uh, about only 1% of the bailout money has gone to small businesses. And that's shocking when you realize that 95% uh, of all new jobs come from small businesses and half of the gross domestic product. And only 1%, so 99% of all the money so far has gone to big businesses. It's, it's unbelievable. The, the plan that's being talked about, taking these TARP funds going to small businesses, actually would increase credit lines. Are you concerned at all that if these small businesses have access to more credit, it might pre present a whole portfolio of new toxic loans for lenders who have the cash to lend and might reduce their requirements to help these small businesses out? Is this a vicious cycle, potentially? Well, you know, it could be. Um, I hate to think about loaning uh, money to small businesses being toxic. Uh, small businesses, you know, are not guilty of the type of uh, horrible things that we've seen in the financial industry. No one, you know, worries about loaning them money. Um, small businesses aren't giving, you know, their, their executives, uh, you know, bonuses that bankrupt the company. No, I just asked um, because there I, were innocent homeowners, too, that got roped into loans they couldn't afford. Some of them might have known what was yeah. going on with inflated appraisals, yeah. some not. But these business owners, they employ a lot of people. They really want to stay in business, and well, they may push the envelope a little bit, and the government might help them out. Are we being responsible about this now that I know you're in favor of the plan? Well, yeah. In fact, uh, again, when you, when you realize the amount of money they're talking about giving small businesses is really sort of infinitesimal in comparison. So um, uh, if, if they took every dime of the TARP funds that are unallocated, which is $127 billion, and give every penny of it to small businesses, that would be 5% of the total bailout funds. Uh, and that, that's to the small businesses that create 95% of all new jobs. It's... it's it could Again, make a substantial uh, difference. I should mention it's just a proposal at this point. I want to ask you about another item that's uh, on the agenda. We've been talking about it today, a, a tax rate increase. If you make 350 or more, 350,000 or more for health care to pay for this tremendously huge health care proposal that we are learning more and more about every day, and that will affect small business owners. How do you think they'll cope with that? Well, you know, small business owners have just had layer and layer and layer of difficulty, and it's going to make it, you know, hard for a lot of small businesses. A lot of people don't realize when you, when you hear about someone making $350,000, uh, people out there middle class go, gosh, you know, you must be rich. Quite frankly, uh, that's not a lot of money for a small business to make when you realize they lose uh, half of it to taxes, and they've got a finance receivable. So if you have a, a small business where you're selling a product that you have to finance, you know, that's really not much money. So right. it's going to be just another burden for not, small businesses. Not to mention, and, and Lloyd, thank you so much for joining us, that they support a lot, of, a lot of other incomes by hiring so much of our nation's workforce. Thanks so much, Lloyd Chapman. Great to meet you today. Thank you. Eric.